welcome back to FA Cup third round weekend. Yay, it's, uh, <laughs> and as you can see, we're going up against the holders in the third round. What are the chances of that? Um, and as you can see, there's not too many other um, ties that really jump out at me. Maybe at you, but there's uh, not that many. Uh, let's scroll down anymore. And uh, Tranmere versus Fulham is on television. That's, uh, I don't understand why that would be picked for TV, but never mind. Why Liverpool Chelsea would not be picked, or Arsenal versus Stoke wouldn't be picked, is kind of beyond me. But never mind. Eh? What what do I know? I don't work in television. <laughs> um, let's send it back to control, since I think... Eh? And we are also going to set it to rigid, I think. And I couldn't really give advice on terms of rigid and fluid. It's quite awkward to, to explain. I mean, it, well, to be honest, it's awkward to explain because there's, there's text explaining it right there. I suppose you could work it out for yourself. It's not particularly difficult, <laughs> with all respect. Um, so we'll throw Dirk Kout in. I think, or Maxi. I think Kout. We'll give, uh, we'll throw Maxi on the bench then. And I personally would rather have uh, Carriger there. And let's throw Johnson back. I think because Johnson was, I think he was injured or suspended. I can't remember. Um, but yeah, there we go. I think that's the team. Uh, Christian Poulsen. Uh, Lucas would rather come in. I have been thinking about a replacement for these guys. Um, Christi uh, Poulsen and Lucas. I'm going to have a very, very quick look now for the one and only. Hang on. I typed it wrong. <laughs> and it... What the fuck? <laughs> okay, this, this is how laggy this is. I am going to have to type exceptionally slowly. Because what it does, if I type too quickly, it lags and didn't doesn't take into account. Yeah, okay. Yeah, this is it. I think you can see what I'm trying to do. Charlie Adam. And it's probably going to come up with... Ah, there he is. Very good. <laughs> Top of the list after all that. For God's sake. This is how... It's, hopefully that gives you an indication of how laggy it, it, this thing is. I'm going to bid for 3 million for Charlie Adam. Call me cheeky. Call me what you will. I don't care. I'm going to bid three million for. Him. I'm going to see if Black Blackpool will let him go. Because I like Charlie Adam. Call me ambitious, cut whatever. I don't care. Let's go then. To uh, but anyway, that that's there. That's we're going to see if uh, Blackpool will get back to me. I'm not going to stop the video until Blackpool get back to me on that one. So as you can see, FA Cup them. Uh, that is arguably our strongest team. Maybe with the exception of Kincheski. <laughs> Uh, I, I, I slag off Kinchevsky, but you know what? He hasn't done too badly. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna argue. Um, okay, so let's ask Sammy Lee to put the uh, opposition stuff right in on there, and uh, let's go. So now, one thing you may remember from last time, as I said, Chelsea are in poor form, and we are in good form, and it's at Anfield, so this gives us a big, big boost, and we're really confident here. I'm personally confident here. We can play. We can play well and beat Chelsea. I don't know though. I don't. It's. I am and I'm not. I know. I'm quite split about this one because I mean, I, I, if you saw in the pre-match conference, it said. Uh, sorry about that. Bit of uh, audio difficulties there. Sorry about that. Uh, it said uh, the pre-match conference. Oh, and Gerrard's hit the bar. I believe it. Uh, it said you know it was it was nil nil last time. And Glenn Johnson gives away a free kick. <laughs> of course, Glenn Johnson against his old club there, but. But uh, yeah, so we're having, I suppose, the better of the chances there. And Glenn Johnson's been booked. Fuck you, ref. Um, oh, for, um, I was going to say for persistent fouling. I was like, for one foul? It didn't even seem that bad. So it was nil nil last time. What will it be this time? Maybe interesting. Okay, and Babel has played in Torres here. Now, can he square the. Oh, he's off. After all that? He, take, he picked up the ball, like, on the halfway line, practically. Ran into the box, smashed it a check, and then the linesman flagged. What a strange, strange bunch of officials we seem to be having these last few games. Because remember, the last time against Blackburn, we had some very strict, we had a very strict ref in uh, the form of Steve Tanner. Who we don't see too often, actually, <laughs> to be fair to him. That's why he's probably because he's shit. Um, I think it proved yesterday. Oh, hang on, Drogba is in. Maluda's there. Don't go in. And it's just gone in. And Essien and. Morales scores an own goal. Okay then. Well, I have to see this. I have to see this. What on earth happened here? 
I thought SCN scored. Let's see then, so Malud, I knew this was going to be a goal. They just got too close to goal. The fuck happened there? <laughs> it's just like everyone just seems to sort of run into each other and then the ball just bounced off something. Okay then. <laughs> I don't know what happened, but Mar that's gone down as a Morelli's own goal apparently and uh, we shall say no more and get on with it. So we're behind for once. Oh, and dispossessed again. We cannot... Oh, my God. That is atrocious. Oh, this is... That is abysmal. That is absolutely abysmal. That is truly, truly abysmal. And here we go with the commentator. Um, uh, look that, And then... Aga, what, what's Aga do here? He just runs... What the fuck? He, he just... <laughs> that was a truly awful... That I mean, that was really, really bad. Um... Christ. Uh, okay, here we go. Fucking hell, Paul Koncheski. You've got to do better than this. Need to stop being dispossessed. Give him the ball away and stop being dispossessed because this is really, really poor. Okay, here's that cow. Right, what can he do? Is he just going to get run into players as well? Well. Just passing on the line. I've got a really strict line. Oh, and check. It's a really good save from Babel there, and I think Czech, it's, it's Czech's in one of those annoying forms where he's just, oh. Czech again, I think, please tell me that Peter Czech's not in, like, stupid form where he's just going to go sick and save everything. No, he's going to, like, jump from one side of the goal to the other in, like, a split second. You know, okay. Oh, fucking hell. This is what I'm talking about when plays go in on hard. This is why, um, don't employ hard tackling. Now, you'll get away with it most games, but when you play the likes of Chelsea, when you play the likes of United, Arsenal, Tottenham, City, it doesn't work. Now, forgive me for being a bit angry here, but yeah, it does not work when you play um, against the big teams. It's a fact. I've just seen it. It just does not work. You give away fouls. They, have, they will outwit you players. I don't care who you are. If you're Real Madrid and you're going up against Chelsea, if you're going up against Liverpool, if you're going up against United, I don't care. They will outwit you because they are either of, of um, similar. And there is 2-1. We are back in this. Uh, Tara's with the score. They will outwit you and they will go over, whether because they would di they dive. <laughs> I don't know. It could be possible. Um, whether they just have the beating of you, whether they were just quicker. But if you go in hard, that means they will slide in. That way they will do all sorts of aggressive f tackling and, and obviously fouling. And it is frustrating. Don't employ it. Employ it against the smaller clubs, yes. But don't employ it against the um, the bigger clubs like Chelsea, etc. We can win. So I'm not going to question them and all that because that's just silly. Um, uh, right, how to do this. Um, see what Sammy Lee said. You need to push more men forward. Well, no, no shit, yeah, obviously. Tell you what, we'll do then. Um, Dirk Kout as an inside forward, not as a winger. Let's see, I think we should go back to being... Ooh, I don't know. Um, should we say fluid now? Okay, we'll try it. Let's go. Okay, uh, we'll change that around. Of Dirk Kout is going to be more attacking, but uh, to be honest, uh, uh, almost the whole front line are attacking now. <laughs> So, as I mean, say, obviously, I want the front line to attack, but by that I mean anyone in front of uh, Lucas there is attacking. So, yeah, so here we go. We have a corner. We've got a chance here. Oh, if a Chelsea player gets to this, thank you. <laughs> I was going to say, if a Chelsea player got to that, would have been absolutely livid. Okay, here's Babel. He's on the... Okay, he's running through. Deck out there. Oh, and check. Again, this is what I'm talking about. Goalkeepers will have an absolute sick game against you when it matters. And that's what Peter Cech seems to be doing right now. At least there's been goals in this one, eh? <laughs> Admittedly, it was firstly an own goal. But what can you do? Uh, his, okay, here we go with Babel again. He, he always takes it forward. That's the good thing about Babel. He will take it forward. He's in, in, in and I could just see that from an absolute mile away. He has, right, right what you've got to realise is Ryan Babel, his composure is dreadful. I mean, really poor. He will smash it. Every, he'll just smash it over the bar. Because that's what he always, he used to this in real life. I'm sure he does this for, um, he used to play for Hoffenheim. Yeah, he, he, said that he used to do it. He just would get it on goal. He'd be like three yards out and he'd just, he just had the absolute goal at his mercy and he would just smash it over the bar. And it's like, it was easier to, it was easier to score than miss. You know? But one thing he does as a playmaker is get, it gets it forward. Almost every, apart from like the really, really, really tough teams, 
Oh, is hang on, Cal. He will. He will. He will have a good game, and he will get the ball forward. And again, Owen Check does well to tip it wide, but I think that may have been going out. So anything we can get from it from this corner is going to be a bit of a bonus and nothing, as you can see. And Johnson's very quick to that. Well done there, Glenn Johnson. Babel now. Running into the box again. We cannot get the ball in. And John Terry. Okay, we want to go free kick. Oh, hang on, Morales is taken. Never mind. Well, Morales can hammer them as we know, and he's hit it against the wall. Babel's there. Check does it. Uh, saves it, and Ryan Babel is offside. Because this is what I mean. Peter Check is having an amazing game, and it's incredibly frustrating. Now, uh, I'd just like to point, out, of course, if we do indeed lose this, I'm sure you know this will be highlighted in in the. Uh, in a thing and say, you know, at the end of the season, saying the poor performance in the FA Cup. Well, yeah, we had a poor performance because it was against fucking Chelsea. What do you want us to do? Um, we're going to take Kaut off since he does fuck all, really. We're going to throw Maxi on. Um, there's not much else we can actually. I think I think that is it. We cannot. I think we need to push people forward. We just need to push people forward now. Get them forward. Get Morales up here. And then Lucas can just. Well, oh, God. Uh, okay, we'll throw Morales there. Try that. Because, to be honest, I don't see what else we can do. Right now, oh, we are struggling. We're not struggling, we're having chances. You can see 19-4 to four Chelsea right under the cosh, but you just know they're going to have one more chance, and that chance they will put away. It's a fact, and the game's frozen, which is not what I want. Here we go, corner. Morelles, he's got good delivery, but he's been pretty piss poor today, and as you can see, that's got straight to check. It's not good enough. Why was that a highlight? There was no need to show a highlight for that. As I say, they will, as I said here, they will have one chance. Watch this; they're going to score it. Oh, they're going to come very, very close. Oh, hang on, it's Johnson at the interception. He's got it. Very well done. Doing excellent today, Glenn Johnson. And Fernando Torres just leaves Terry standing. Gerard's there, and we have equalised. It's two-two, and there's eight minutes to go, and that is a brilliant fight back. And Torres turns to provide it for Gerrard. It's the spirit of a switch, a bit of the old switcheroo. Fernando T Torres does it against Chelsea. I know that's a bit weird, but <laughs> she happens, you know. This is what happens when you start in 2010. And Steven Gerrard is there. And uh, we have come level. I think this may very well. Oh, Christ. Um. Oh, hang on. Maxi's here. I'm going to wait until this attacks. So I'll go to attacking. Lucas Gerrard, hold on. If we can get a winner here, check again. Makes a superb save. We're into the dying moments where I say I've set it to attacking. Not sure what's going on here. Hold on. It's a pitch pitch view. Oh, hang on. Drug bit. Oh, I don't know. Ooh, what do you think I should do here? If Chelsea get a win, I'm not going to be happy at all. It's Glenn Johnson again. Amazing. Amazing defensive work from him today. He's done very, very well. Again, flicking on. He's got it forward. He's doing really, very well. Hopefully, it won't say a little too. <laughs> Hopefully, it won't say it and jinx it him or something. But oh, this is this is a tight now. Last like ninety seconds, I think. Francesca against Basingo. I think there's only one winner there. Oh, and Chelsea have a corner now. <laughs> Change it back to counter. Let's see what we can do here. Is that oh, this is the last going to be the last action of the game. This is going to be the last action of the game. Yuri Zhirkov just standing there for some apparent reason. Here he goes at the corner. Oh! When Reina, God almighty. I thought, you know, the way it wasn't in central. In the centre of Reina's um, circle. I thought he didn't catch that then. Oh, catch it fully. Well, it's 2-2. Two -two. Um, I'm going to say please because well, I, I, why, why would I say that we're not good enough because we just come back from two goals down against Chelsea admittedly it was at home but we've just come back from two goals down Ryan Babel disgusting um, in fact you know he was actually no 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 he wasn't embarrassed he was not good no actually I'm going to say please because he got fun. he drove he drove the team very well admittedly he should have scored and he was absolutely shocking in front of goal but you know what he got the team forward, and I'm happy enough with that. And Glenn Johnson, I'm going to say, actually, he was excellent today. And this is what you got to do. You've got to keep the man off. If you keep doing that, I mean, I know it should go without saying, really. I'm sure they're going to be concerned by this draw, obviously, the fact that we came back from two goals down, of course, the fans and the board and all that. But, yeah, you, you just learn to block it out. Uh, but, I know they're pleased. I'm happy enough with that. We're going to go into a replay, of course.
we are, oh, we have an aim to get to the semi-final. Ooh. <laughs> so I hope you enjoyed this game. I certainly have. So I yeah, know that's right. We um, got that goal right before half time. And as there you go, Pitchek was unbelievably good. And they'll have been rearranged the Tottenham game. So not only are we gonna play Chelsea. So now l l okay, let's see. Any, any uh, actually it'll tell me in the uh, in the round up here. And Millwall have beat well. Wigan, that's not it's <laughs> uh Sheffield United beat Birmingham. And uh yeah, not not too thing there. So uh, what we're gonna do now is we're gonna have a look at the fixtures. So once again we have yet another game with Chelsea. Um if the fact that we couldn't get a, a deciding goal in the in the first round uh, sorry in the third round original game we're going to go to a replay and uh, that's going to be smack bang in the middle again of uh, these Chelsea games. I don't believe this. So we have Chelsea once again. It's a home once again. So I imagine they've just stayed in town. Then we play Blackpool and then we play Chelsea again, and then we play Chelsea again, and that time it's at Stamford Bridge. In the meantime, squashed in the middle of them two, between them, three days apart, literally, the Bolton game. Fuck this. <laughs> um, and then obviously don't play Chelsea for all, and I've got that double with Rangers, of course, and we look for that. And then we play Chelsea again in March, which, again, at Stamford Bridge. So I think that's the last time we're going to be playing Chelsea at home. So let's see if uh, anything comes of this Charlie Adam thing uh, before... Uh, the next Chelsea game. So let's see. Um, a landmark goal for Drogba, was it really? Uh, whoa, five four. Wow, Leicester beat Reading five four, and that over half um, half a million viewers of the FA Cup. That's bloody good going. <laughs> let's see then. Um, um, yes, I will accept that. Three mil. I know, I know my transfer budget that there, but bear in mind. Okay, let's see this off. I've got future incentives. They really want this kid. They really want no, they really want him. I, if they you know, if they brought out like a couple of million for him, I'd say I'd say yeah, fair enough. But we shall see about that. I don't know. Anyway, uh no surprise there. Man United beat Villa as always seem to bloody do and uh, Tottenham beat Oldham no surprise there in the Sunday FA Cup pictures so um, again Chelsea we have a pre-match meeting yeah I think we do need to drop Babel now I think I may play Cout in that position and uh, we haven't had a meeting since 27th of December yeah we all know this yes 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 we know we know we know um, okay we're we'll getting to the pre-match conference once again again another Chelsea one <laughs> I think we have uh, as long as six for game plan as we did this time. All areas will we? Thing there has to be. Well, of course it is. It's beating the f getting to the final. Who cares who we beat along the way? Uh, make any changes? May make some changes. We'll see. If we are close to winning the uh, league cup, that would be a great victory for us. Because Liverpool have never actually been to Wembley or the new Wembley. I should say. Uh, I don't really know yet. I probably might throw the odd one or two out. I don't know. Well, I can't wait for the League Cup final. Well, well, that's pushing it a bit. <laughs> uh, okay, let's have a look at the old um, draw for the. Uh, for, okay, we'll tag this on at the end. Uh, the FA Cup fourth round draw. We're not going to make this any uh, extra video. We're just going to plot this on here. So here we go. Bear in mind, um, we do have to play Chelsea in the replay, but we'll see. Anyway, so um, Bolton Wanderers will play Sheffield United. Huddersfield Town will play West Ham. Tottenham Hotspur will play Everton. Ooh. Uh, Milton Keynes Dons will play Burnley. Southampton or Sheffield Wednesday. Man City or Blackpool. Sunderland at home. Derby or Crystal Palace. 20 teams left. Here we go. We have a home tie if we get past Chelsea. And we will play. Please give us a good team. Not good team. You know. Please give us a weaker team this time. Oh, for the love of God. <laughs> oh, my. What is. I, <laughs> I am 
absolutely speechless. And then Man United get Notts County. <sighs> I, I, I knew it. I knew. I was going to say, I bet we got Arsenal. But I didn't want to jinx it. And yeah, we, we have Arsenal. But at least it's at home. Well, well, I say we, we've got Arsenal. Um, I'm just... I don't believe this. Ah, uh, 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 so here we go then, Charlie Adam. See, how much does he want? I don't think he'll want anything excessive. No, he's not. He's going to be He's going to be first team. And what, what I'm going to do is I'm going to be a bit cheeky. And I'm going to plop that down to say... Actually, I'm just going to say 24 just to see what he makes of that. Oh, hang on. Okay, 36. <laughs> oh, fine, fine, fine. <laughs> 48,000. Christ. Um... I didn't, I didn't honestly, I thought, my, my, what, what I tend to do is I try and lessen the wage just by a bit, just to save a bit of money, just because I'm tight like that. <laughs> and, uh, you know, I don't think it works as such, but, you know. Anyway, I think we have dragged this on way long enough. Uh, we're going to leave that there. Oh, hang on. Uh, we're going to leave that there. I will get back to you in the next video. As you can see, we have some um, news there. I think we'll drag it on. I want to let. I'm going to leave you in suspense with this team. Moral Morales uh, was named in the team of the week, but until the next video when we play Chelsea again, <laughs> I will see you for that uh, in the League Cup first, first semi-final first leg.